What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. What do we got over there? Howdy. Mr. Goblin. Sidekick back together again. <laughs> we are leaving Popeye's Chicken. As y'all may or may not know, Goblin was uh, recently diagnosed with diabetes. And you say, man, y'all stopped at Popeye's. Look, we got black and chicken. We did. What a change. No biscuit. Like, I, I love them biscuits. I love them. <laughs> I let Martin eat mine so he could tell me how good it was. I did it with it. I did it with the lid of the box up though, because I'm a friend. You did. You I really didn't want did. him to. I didn't want him to see the smile on my face when I bit into that biscuit. So. Oh, I see uh, you dipping in in that sauce. I try to make it look like chicken. My bad. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we are headed down to Pensacola, Florida. We are going to be speaking tonight at the Civic Center for a deal, I, I believe it's called Hunter's Night Out, right? I Go. think so, yeah. Uh, Sportsman's Night Out. Oh, Sportsman's Night Out. Yeah. But we're speaking at the Civic Center in Pensacola. Um, I wanted to bring y'all along a little travel vloggy. Right now we're in the big town of McGee, Mississippi. Um, and we're headed, headed southeast towards Pensacola rumor is there's a Bucky's we have to pass so oh, we are we're not passing it we're stopping <laughs> I'll just I'll just tear the bread off that brisket sandwich and, that's yeah. good you can eat the meat like we can get yeah, I, they'll the give meat. you a plate of brisket too if you really? order yeah <laughs> we're gonna stop going and coming in <laughs> yeah y'all heard it here first but we're gonna take you along show you some stuff there's gonna be some more familiar faces in the video too that um i think you'll you'll recognize them i don't want to spoil it just yet but we've got some buddies of ours that are meeting us down there to speak as well so it's going to be a four pack of us tonight um and we're just along for the ride we cruising headed down we we live in life in this in goblin's new toyota tundra yeah he driving this time because i've been on a run i've been well, you'll see the video from Little Rock. And in between there, I was in Austin, Texas for Academy and Shiner Beer. And uh, and now, headed down to speak here. So We're going to Florida. Going to Florida. And then next week, I'm liable to take this camera back with us when Goblin and I have to end up in Ramsey, Minnesota at Game Fair. Oh, yeah. That thing, I mean, it's going to be cool up there. <laughs> Ain't going to be no humidity up there. <laughs> No, sir. So we go go up there and hang out with our buddies from Victor Pet Food, but it's that time of year, so we're doing a little travel vloggy stuff. Nothing, nothing too incredibly hard, but uh, stick with us. Going to bring y'all some clips from tonight. Uh, you know, share share what we talk about a lot of times on the road, and uh, you know, it's all good. We get to go talk about hunting and Jesus, and not in that order. So <laughs> with equal enthusiasm. There you go. So stick with us. Get off them roads. We're, we're headed down the road. Let's go on to Florida if we're going. If one of you has to. If one of you has to. <laughs> we'll hook up that mule and pull this truck. Let's go on to Florida if we're going. All right. We'll see y'all once we get to Pensacola. gang we have made it to Pensacola Goblin going through a little where my wardrobe chain we're here so we're gonna go inside figure it all out figure out where we're supposed to be and I told y'all we got two buddies that y'all probably seen before we're gonna go try to find them and uh, see what's going on. But so far, so good. Goblin, excellent navigator slash driver. Just all, just all around good guy. So here we go. Night out in Pensacola. We're here for it. Hope y'all enjoy. We talked about the issue a little bit earlier. But I know. Do you, you wanna come? what they get for you? I got them regulation honey buns that I can't eat. 
What does regu What does regulation no, mean? Regulation mean <laughs> pocket size. With lots of topping. Lots of topping. Look at all that goodness right there. Oh, why can't you eat it, John? This is my Waddell. Pitiful. That's just that's the worst sight. And look, they said they got banana pudding in the stinking bread right. They just keep pouring it out. Look, Goblin is really. We had, we had a church event, right? We we speaking to the community. And the devil's here. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't he got him? He's I mean, I mean, he's dressed like Little Debbie and Banana Pudding. Yep. I got regulation coffee right here. And them are perfect. These are perfect for dipping in that coffee and taking a bite. But I can't do it. If you dip it in the sugar, I mean, if you dip it in the coffee, don't that take the sugar off of it? Yeah, I think it, I think it does. I'm not going to have one. You really think it does? Man, I, I no, I'm just kidding. God, well, look, we've made a trip full of better decisions. Let's keep making. Them. Okay. We go. I, I, I'll be your accountability partner. We can do this. But I told you there'd be some familiar faces here. Yeah, that was too funny. Uh oh. We ain't in Wyoming. We'll be there before long, though, won't we? I guarantee. We're gonna be in Wyoming again with Seven J Outfitters. What? Eighth and ninth year you've been there, mm -hmm. right? Godwin's there about every other year, but he killed too big a deer. Yeah. He shot too big a deer. Yeah, they run me off. <laughs> when you show up a day late in the first sit, you shoot the biggest thing I got, you're out. I think it was the biggest thing they killed all year during archery season. And in about three, four years. Regulation plot. Yep, you got a regulation plot. Gold medal winner right there. Gold. What I'm, what I'm most impressed with is, when, hey, you know you made the big time when you got your own line of honey buns. I know. I know. I told I Goblin. Even, look at all that good feeling on top. And Goblin's fresh, you know, he's fresh diagnosed with diabetes. So I said, we well, he's at a church event, but the devil's here. <laughs> I mean, he, you can't run him out. Yeah, yeah. They got banana pudding in the fridge. What else they gonna tell? Well, well, I got diagnosed with that alpha gal, so I can't eat no more red meat, venison, pork. Just rolled in. You can't eat dairy meat. Nothing with a hoof. Oh, we need to go cut our wrist. Wait, hold on. You can't eat nothing with a hoof. I can't eat no meat from any animal that has a hoof. And what the, 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 the argument is? Do armadillos have hooves? No, the argument no. is, is you know a guy that'll take donations of back straps because yeah. he got twins on the way. <laughs> hey, what if we cut the hooves off for shoes? Then he probably eat it. All right. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. All right, here we go. Hey, how you Michael, are you ready? I'm ready. Probably, well, probably for my vodka. Our first ever rock concert. Y'all stay. We're going to show y'all some things. Uh, Thank you, Dan. Appreciate you so much. So tonight, you're Are you nervous? Getting, you know, I'm nervous. We don't ever speak. No, we ain't nervous. We're here to have a good time. Sportsman's night out. Come on up. Uh oh. So are you the fastest duck collar maker? I would say right now I am the fastest duck call maker. East of the, west of the Mississippi. <laughs> he's the fastest we got because he's the only one we got right now. <laughs> so we've had some positions be reassigned around there. Yep. So yeah. Goblin's a one-man band right now. Well, I, am. Now I remember the show, Justin, mm -hmm. where they were giving you the devil about dating and finding a girlfriend, and they were trying to get you a woman. Remember all that? All, all, all they sure did. They did, didn't they? They found a, me one, too. They yeah. found you one. We had to go all the way up to them hills of hollers of Tennessee to find one that put up with me. And you you did find one. You got married, right? I, yeah, I've been married for seven years. I just had to make sure I wasn't giving myself too much credit. Yeah, um, yeah seven years, and we have twins on the way. Be here, hopefully, twins. hopefully in October. Hopefully they'll stay put till October, so. Yeah. Yeah, or that's right. Efficiency, two at a time. Yeah. <laughs> One Ooh. and done. Now, what exactly do you do with Duck Commander? Now, what's your what's your role there? I'm the general manager of the company. So, um, 
for those of you that don't know, that title essentially means bill collector. Um, I make sure we get paid, and I make sure we pay our bills, and make sure Goblin's got everything he needs to build the duck Hey, call. that thing's got a USB port on the side. <laughs> this happens often. This, That's this, cool. They're heated and cooled also. Are, well, where's that at? <laughs> It's, it's hot up here. It's now. hot up here. But uh, no, so I'm just a general manager. I run all the day-to-day -day business. If we get in a bind and I haven't done my job and we run out of duck calls, I'll still go jump in the shop with them and build duck calls. But if I've done my job, I shouldn't have to do that anymore. I so, got you. You know. I got you. Uh, back in my bull riding days, uh, a guy invited me. We uh, rode bulls together. But anyway, we, we separated about two years. He come back and invited me to go to church, and uh, I didn't want to be around them holy rollers. I thought he was joking. I busted out laughing because I thought, you know, I, I'm doing the same thing he was, yeah. and he's inviting me to church. <laughs> I thought it was a joke, but yeah. no, it wasn't a joke. And uh, I went because my wife wanted us to visit churches for some reason. <laughs> and um, so I went to make her happy, and... Uh, Duck season was fixing to start, so I said, I'll go, because I knew Phil went to his church. I said, I'll go up there. Get to meet Phil. <laughs> meet Phil, get me a duck call, and make my woman happy. <laughs> Kill me two birds with one stone. Whatever you do, do it to the best you can. It might be just out there playing. It might be sports. It might be hunting. It might be, because you don't never know who's, who's looking at you. I never thought I'd be in a duck blind with Phil Robinson. And when I was, my dad, he had taught me gun safety and, and etiquette with the firearm and how you act around people. And because I wasn't a yahoo, I'm still in that blind today. So whatever you do, you never know who's looking at you. No matter how many times you fail at what you're doing, trying to do something, just keep doing it. Just learn to do it a little different. Don't give up. That's good. And don't wait too long before you do it. That's good. Good deal. Justin, what would you say? I, that was good. I, I would say for the kids out there, look, life, life is tough. Get ready for what it's going to throw at you. Learn to accept failure, quote unquote failure, because in that failure is when we learn. And life is about the learning process. The, the moment you think you've got something figured out, you've got something mastered, the good Lord has a way of really humbling you and saying no. So learning to accept that failure, learn from it, grow from it, and remaining humble at everything you do, I think will get you a long way in this life. Um, it will. Good. Along with surrounding yourself with great friends, and when I say great friends, I don't mean people that are going to tell you yes. Find you some guys that are going to tell you no. Um, the world's full of people that will tell you yes and pick you up. But in my case, find you a John Godwin. Find you one of the two guys that are about to come up here that, that you have an open and honest relationship with that will grab you by the collar of the shirt and tell you when you're being an idiot. Tell us a little bit about kind of what you feel Bone Collector is all about. Well, I, I think the biggest thing, and it seems like the hunting industry, you know, when you look back, especially when, you know, Duck Dynasty launched, you know, I've known these guys a long time. The Robertson had a show on Outdoor Channel, and, you know, we'd hang out together, see each other at the shot show. Obviously, these old two rednecks love to catch crappy and, and go fishing and, and deer hunting, that kind of stuff. And uh, so everything kind of goes in these, if you want to call it a fad, but I remember we started Bone Collector, we were starting to get in this, this weird place uh, even then to where, you know, people seem like they're having to make an excuse for being a hunter. It's somewhat at that particular time frame was getting a little bit political. Uh, the hunting industry was changing a little bit. And, you know, and I, I grew up country and, and you know, in my, my opinion, you know, it, hunting was more than a privilege. It was, it was a God-given right, just like to defend yourself and things like that. And so, you know, in my mind, I kept thinking, man, you know, a hunter is way more than just somebody who goes out and, shoots a deer, way more than somebody that just goes out to try to get a turkey in the back of his truck. You know, there's more to it. And, and a lot of that came from just having been influenced by people here that's on the stage, a lot of my mentors in the hunting industry. And I remember, I just wanted to show that it was kind of enough in your face that kind of maybe would shock people enough to pay attention to it, called Bone Collector. 
but in reality, it was just kind of the message that a, that a hunter's way more than a predator. He's, you yeah. know, he's somebody that's a caretaker. He's a leader. You know, they're family men. Obviously, it's, it's hard to be a, a hunter and not know, know that there's a creator and a good Lord. And, and so when it all comes together, uh, really behind the scenes, it's just a fun campfire and a good time. And you're trying to get out there and hunt and fish and, and have a blast. So it was kind of a kind of an opportunity for me to say, hey, we're making no excuses. I, this is the way I was born. Yep. And, uh, you know, what else can you say about that? You know, it's just the way it is. God, through the power of his Holy Spirit, convicted me and set me on a path to recommit my life to him. Now, I recommit my life almost daily. The Bible tells us to pick up our cross and follow him. So I've struggled, uh, but it's amazing how God, I, I often tell people when I get to heaven, the first question I'm going to ask God is, God, why did you choose me? Why did you choose me to be so incredibly blessed? to do what I do for a living, and to use me as your vessel to speak through. But I think I'm going to be so overjoyed, I, I don't think I'm going to really worry about asking any questions. Right. I think it'll be praise. Well, awesome, y'all. Doesn't get any better, y'all. Thank, Thank you. All right, folks, we are headed home. Ooh, don't put them on. They fogged up. They're cold in that tundra. Godwin, where are we? Bug Keys, baby. Y'all see it back there? Y'all uh -huh. see it? Y'all see it right there? Look right there too. Oh, yeah. We're fitting to get us a bunch of meat or something. <laughs> we're getting fuel for the truck. Yeah. And we're going to get fuel for us. So, look. Coffee. We... We're getting coffee the main thing. One of the things. Coffee. I ain't drinking no coffee. But. Gavin was all been out of shape this morning. The only coffee he had was decaf. That ain't even coffee. Why they even make it? That's just brown water, ain't it? But we're going to go inside for all y'all to watch the podcast. We told you about Bucky's. I'm, I'm going to go show you the inside of one. So, y'all want to come on? Let's go inside. We're in. I'm not going to use a lot of this because of the music, but I just want to show y'all some things. Are you kidding me? Where they at? Where they at? Oh, here we go. Right there. So good. What kind of beef jerky do y'all want? Huh? Huh? What y'all want? Unreal. Are you kidding me? All right. We, we own that bag. So, we own that bag hard. But, uh, you know, same old deal. YouTube, music, all that. Too loud in there. But here we are, we're headed home. Uh, me and Goblin have done our due diligence. We're headed home, we got Bucky's. Goblin, how you feel about it? There's a lot of humans in there. And it's early. Early, let's go. But we got tacos. So look, appreciate y'all joining in. Like, subscribe, comment. We're gonna hit the road, head back home. We'll see y'all next time, we're out. <laughs>